Perseverance has the most capable self-driving navigation system ever used on a Mars rover, with hundreds of successful drives in the first thousand Martian days. Then on Sol 1001, it drove into terrain the system couldn't handle. On this episode of Mars Guy. This week, Perseverance marked the milestone of a thousand sols on Mars, about 1,027 Earth days since its arrival on February 18, 2021. The number of actual miles in that time is 14, or about 23 kilometers. It celebrated this event during its traverse up and over the youngest of the terrain units on top of the Jezero Fan Delta. This is a ridge that used to be the floor of a river channel that carried raging floodwaters loaded with cobbles and boulders. Here's the view from the ground with Mars Guy for scale. This boulder-strewn landscape presents a real challenge for the rover's autonomous navigation system, or AutoNav, which has to identify hazards in real time, like rocks that are too tall to drive over, and then find a way around them. On the previous SOL, it completed an impressively long drive of 226 meters across more benign terrain, which transitioned to the boulder terrain. That set up the drive on SOL 1000 into this menacing landscape, managing to go only 14 meters, probably because AutoNav faulted out after hitting some prescribed limits in the software. This may have prompted the rover drivers to relax them. And that may have set up the ill-fated drive on SOL 1001. Perseverance started with a southwesterly segment of about 30 meters, then took a sharp left, maybe to avoid a rock, but then it stayed on this path for about 17 meters, at which point it stopped and did a complete about face, returning to the original course, but then overshooting by about 10 meters. What followed next looks like pure confusion, with Perseverance striking out to the east, but looping back on itself before venturing forward again, arcing to the south and ending with another about face and then finally giving up, probably after reaching a time of day limit after logging 136 meters of driving. The view on the ground from the final position documents the chaos. The first drive segment was down slope, ending at a location that doesn't seem to show any obvious obstacles, yet this is where Perseverance made a sharp left turn. The end of that segment also shows no obvious obstacles. But the next segment does indeed show some impassable boulders, which explains why Perseverance reversed course. But that doesn't explain the subsequent loop it made. An intersection of the outbound and return tracks nicely sums up the seemingly random drive. Hashtag rover confusion. Fortunately, the next drive on SOL 1002 delivered Perseverance out of the boulder-rich terrain and into the more benign terrain of the margin carbonate unit, presumably with some helpful instructions from the rover drivers. It's probably not fair to say that AutoNav failed on the drive of SOL 1001, given that Perseverance lived to rove another SOL. The same can't be said of some failures of self-driving cars on Earth.